good morning friends it is december 1st which marks the very first day of vlogmas 2020 and we have never needed a reason to escape connect build connection be kind to ourselves be kind to others more than we do this year this year's vlogmas is all about us being kind to ourselves and inspiring you to be kind to others I am so excited for you all to join me on this journey this year, for us to connect and become closer, but more importantly, for us to just feel a little lightness, joy, that this season brings. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Christopher. I hope you'll stay and join us, but let's get Vlogmas 2020 going. And I have a very special intro for you, so, Let's roll it. I hope you love that intro as much as I do. It was so much fun. I worked with an animator and we had a lot of fun doing it. And it took us a while, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. So, if you are joining me from the very first Vlogmas, which a lot of you are because the channel has grown so much over the last couple months, first of all, welcome. Um, if you are new and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Make sure that every day you give Vlogmas a thumbs up. It really helps us creators out. Um, and it's also good to know that it resonated with you. If you are new, there's a couple things you need to know about our Vlogmas. First of all, you're gonna see me in my pajamas and robe, most of it, because that's what I wear in the morning and as soon as I can in the evening when work is done. So you're gonna see a lot of robes and pajamas. The other thing you should know is I have one goal with Vlogmas this year. Like I said, this year has been tough for a lot of us, and I also know that everyone needs a little escape and joy and that is truly the only goal that i have for each of you each day that you watch i also hope that you learn some fun tips and tricks along the way because for vlogmas this year i have a lot of things planned we'll do gift wrapping ideas we're going to do room refreshes that cost very little but make a huge impact in a space we are also going to share some of my grandmother's recipes ones that are really important to me. I have handwritten recipes from her and I'm gonna share at least one a week with all of you. We're also probably going to do some decorating DIYs, some seasonal things, and yeah, we're just going to have a lot of fun. But if I was to say what I'm most excited about, it would be the third year of my advent of kindness. Now, you do not need to celebrate Advent in order to partake in it. Basically, it's a collection of 25 random acts of kindness for loved ones, yourself, and for others to do throughout the season. I can tell you, each year I've completed it, it has given me more than any gift that I've received during the season. The link to download it is down below. It is completely free. You should share it with everyone. I know a lot of you post it at work, share it with friends and family that's amazing and please keep doing that i think that it's a great way to build habits of random acts of kindness because we know that it shouldn't only happen in december it should happen all year round but it's a really great way to build the habit and to give you a plethora of ideas completing it will make you feel so good about the season and also give you so many memories to reflect on. Now you're going to notice on the advent of kindness that my Instagram handle is on there and the hashtag 2020 advent of kindness. Follow me on Instagram. Make sure that you are because people who are sharing their stories of Advent of Kindness, I'm going to post over there. I'm going to include some in the videos, but I want this to be an interactive experience and I want you guys to be a part of Vlogmas. So if you tag me in clips, don't be surprised if they show up here in a Vlogmas video on YouTube, but I'll also be sharing them over on Instagram. And I just want everyone to see the impact that a small group of people can have. Remember, even if you don't do them all, your one act of kindness has a ripple effect. You could potentially impact hundreds of people because your act of kindness maybe makes someone else be kind and then they have that ripple going on and on. So 
make sure that you're following me on Instagram and make sure that you're tagging 2020 Advent of Kindness and tagging me so I can include them here and on Instagram. With that being said, some of the acts of kindness involve writing letters, giving cards, sending books, sharing something, and the people that I'm going to be sharing with are you. The only thing you have to do is be subscribed here on YouTube and also be subscribed on Instagram. And I wanna be able to use my advent of kindness to give back to you because none of this exists without you. And that fact is never lost on me. So when there are cards being written and letters to be sent, I'm gonna reach out to some of you and ask where I can send something. And it's going to be just as random as the acts of kindness that we complete but I'm really excited to do that and to give back to you and just randomly surprise you on given days as well. But with that being said, I wanna to get to the grocery store. I need to finish an email to my team and get that email to them by six. And there's something else. Probably have another cup of coffee. So I'm gonna go do all that and then we will get Pardon my hair, I was wearing a hat when I ran out. So it's only a little after seven o'clock and I'm already back, got all the things that I need. So today's act of kindness is to do something for a loved one, typically something maybe you're not super interested in or that like you always partake in. So I had a plan tonight to go to one of Steven's favorite parks um, that I don't go to often with him and take Bubba's for like a little like night walk. However, it is raining and gross all day today. Um, so that's not gonna happen. And even if it does stop raining, the trail is actually going to be really muddy. And that's one of the reasons I never go with him there. Um, so instead, I am making him his favorite meal from his grandmother, which is beef stroganoff. Um, I think in our house, we've only ever made it one time. So it's actually like a big deal that I'm making it and he has no clue. He's already off to work, but I'm gonna make him beef stroganoff tonight. I'm using like a crock pot recipe because I'm super swamped till four today and it doesn't give me enough time to get dinner ready. I'm gonna leave the recipe linked below that I'm using, but during my lunch break around noon, I have to get everything prepped and thrown in the crock pot because it needs to cook for I think four or five hours. So that is the plan, but he's gonna be so excited. I don't really love beef stroganoff, but he loves it and it'll make his day and he has a really busy day at work too. Before I go get ready for the day, because we have a little time, I thought we would go ahead and open some of the advent calendars. So I have the one from the White Company, I have one from Beekman 1802, and then I also have a little like figurine Santa workshop one that I'm really excited about from Mary Mary. So let's start with Mary Mary. Let's go ahead and open day one. So day one is this really, really cute tree um, that you get to put together. Our little tree is put together, it's so cute. I love that these ones are colored. Most of the ones I've ever bought from here are just solid wood, so I like the color. All right, Beekman 1802. Day one is right here. It is their pure goat milk cuticle cream in vanilla absolute. I'm really excited about that. Let's go ahead and open the White Company. I was really excited to do advent calendars that were different this year that you don't see everywhere. Um, so it'll be exciting for all of us. Day one is right here. Oh, the boxes are actually really big. I'm already super thrilled with this. A, the candle is actually really a nice size and it's midnight. I also love that they sealed each candle. I mean, I'm impressed with this already. It has a really beautiful like lavendery floral smell, but it's not like overpowering. It's actually really light. I might light that today while I'm working in my office. I have about an hour and five minutes before I have to hop online. Um, so I need about 30 minutes to get dressed and ready for the day. But I think before then, I am going to go ahead and start my Christmas Advent devotional uh, because I have a little time. I'm gonna make another cup of coffee, do this, um, and then I'll probably not see you again until lunchtime where we'll prep dinner 
and then I'll see you around four o'clock, I think is when I wrap today. Actually, I know it's when I wrap today, from two to four, I'm doing some coaching for some people. Um, so I'll see you at four. If we have a little time in between, I might have like a pocket of like 20 minutes here and there. Some packages are gonna get delivered today, so. Well, I'll catch you up whenever I can. <laughs> All right, friends. I have the meat browned and in the slow cooker, and now that this pan is a little too hot, I'm just uh, getting a little color on the mushrooms and the onions. And of course, I use my favorite chopper. The way we're going to do Vlogmas is I know there's gonna be things that you see and you're gonna be like, oh, where, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna do my best to like link things. So like the chopper, one of my favorite things ever, Everyone who's ever watched me knows. It's even on my gift guides. I think it's the best kitchen tool. I use it every day, all the time. And I've had the same one for years. Like that will be linked below. I'll do my best when I'm going through to just link things um, so they're there for you. So always check that description box for all the links of all the things. All right, gonna get those browned, get that thrown in, and then we're just gonna add a little bit of stock, some Dijon mustard, Worcestershire sauce, I have like the recipe on my phone, but I'm really not following it. I'm just like throwing some stuff in. <laughs> but I'll link the recipe that I'm sort of using. So the mailman is here, which is why you hear Bubba's. But I got a really nice color on this. So I'm just going to add all of this to my slow cooker. It says to add a cup and a half of beef stock. I don't know what it said as far as Worcestershire sauce. I can never say that word, you don't, don't feel the need to correct me, it's fine. Um, I'm just gonna add eh, what looks like a good amount. And then this wasn't called for, but it seems like a good call with like the mushrooms and the red meat. I'm gonna add a little squirt of Dijon mustard to it. Not a lot, like literally maybe a teaspoon. I am going to go ahead and give this a good stir. All right, so I have um, dinner all ready to go. I have a big meeting from two to four, so I have like an hour to prep for that, and there's just some pre-work that I wanna look at that people submitted, um, so that I go into it really prepared. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep for that last meeting of the day, um, and then I'll see you guys probably at four. Actually, a really quick change of plans. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I talk of, oh, even on here, because um, I mentioned her a few times, I have a really good friend, Rebecca. She's become one of my closest and dearest friends. Um, her Instagram is Baron Bakes. She's like an amazing cookie. Well, just an amazing baker in general, but her cookies are phenomenal. And she sent me a box and I am so excited because I'm pretty sure I just received from one of my besties, an advent calendar of cookies. So here it is, Baron's Bakes. Look how cute this is. Oh my gosh. Okay, she wrote me a note. This is how amazing she is. Happy Vlogmas. I hope these cookies bring you as much joy as they did for me making them. They are a mix of my signature vanilla, almond, spiced apple, red dot, and ginger white chocolate, green dot. Love you lots. Well, I'm telling you what. It's been a morning of super busy work, so I'm gonna help myself to the very first one. Oh my, oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, so she hand decorates all of these, but she individually sealed each one. All right, I've been teasing her for so long that I need one of her cookies, so I'm gonna enjoy one right now. This might truly be the best cookie I've ever eaten. It's so good. It's gonna be a practice of true willpower not to eat this entire thing. <laughs> You guys will hold me accountable, because if I don't have cookies to eat on some days, it's because I probably already ate them, but they are so good. Oh my gosh. We'll have to save some of those for dessert some nights. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I love you, Rebecca. I love you so much. And we have a coffee date on Sunday, don't forget. All right, friends, I'm gonna go prep for this meeting, but that cookie, was everything I needed to get me through today. So, it took me a little less time to prep, but we are already having advent calendar drama this year. I mean, every year it's something. So, a subscriber, her name is Bridget, she has two kiddos. They opened their same advent calendar today. They bought this one based off of my recommendation, and they're missing half of their tree. 
So I just got her address and I'm going to throw this in the mail tomorrow morning so that her kiddos can have a full tree because I don't need it. And I'll substitute it with like a little tree of some kind, but I'm gonna break this down and get it in an envelope so I can mail it to Bridget and her kiddos so their advent calendar is complete. I'm telling you friends, every year there's some sort of advent calendar drama and it's day one. Bridget, I got you covered though. Tell your kiddos their tree is coming. All right friends, it is a little bit after four and I thought we would do the quick Christmas tour. I think we might just do the ground floor. That's what I'm thinking. But um, uh, let's go ahead and walk through the house. For the friends that are new, this will also give you like a nice lay of the land for Vlogmas this year. So I'm gonna turn you around, we're gonna walk through. Coming through our front door, you were first greeted by this entry table. And I have this beautiful Santa painting with two lanterns from Target. I also keep this Christmas Carol book out. I bought it at a little boutique a while ago, um, probably last year, and I just love the illustrations in it. So I have that open on the table. And then this garland, I actually made myself, I have a video linked in how I did it. Um, I'm gonna leave that down below so you can check it out. But I did this garland, and you're gonna see the same exact garland replicated on our fireplace when we get into the living room. Then on the other side of the entryway is my dining room. Let me go ahead and hit my light. So I have my bar cart. I really didn't do much here because I didn't want it too cluttered. I just put some little red ornaments and a tree that I had. What I love that I did this year is I layered a piece of wrapping paper under my table runner and I love how it looked. And then I just did some Christmas crackers, red napkins, and then my chargers and my white plates. Uh, love these. These chargers are so heavy. They're from Pottery Barn. I just love them the, to pieces. This arrangement is an old antique bowl that I had as well as some magnolia um, picks and then some twigs and I layered in ribbons and looped them in and then curled some ribbon coming out. I love how this looks with the candle at night. It is stunning. These premium wax flameless candles from Pottery Barn are top notch, but I really love how simple this is. You guys are gonna notice, people who have been following a while, the polar bears are gone. They just moved to another room. I wanted this to look a little bit cleaner and neater. Then over here, I just have a quick little Studio McGee piece on earth pillow that I really love. This is Bubba's spot. This is where he sits and waits for daddy to come home. And then this tree is one of my favorite trees. This year's theme was traditional. So you see a lot of plaid around the house, the red, the green, the blue, this like very traditional limey green that you sometimes see on trees. I just love this tree this year. These ornaments from Grandin Road, these big deer head. Um, We've been joking that this is the Electoral College tree because it has a little over 270 ornaments. I did the whole way around the tree. I will tell you my friends, even when my tree is facing a wall, I still decorate the back because you can see through it. Um, and it adds a lot of dimension. So an annoying thing to do, but worthwhile. Then in this little archway, I have the mistletoe hanging. And then I just did a really simple magnolia swag to tie in the magnolia on the table. Then I have my advent calendars and I have this painting. This was an old canvas that had, I forget what was on it originally, but I repurposed it and I did this painting. If you hop over to my Instagram, in my highlights, I have step-by-step -step how I did this, but I did like a very textured black paint and then did this pine painted on top with just some house paint that I had laying around. But I'm so happy with how this turned out and I just love the dining room. This little stand, I have it really, really simple. I have this little metal joy wreath, some birch logs, a deer, these beautiful bell candles um, from Pottery Barn are here. And then in here, I kept most of my normal decor that's always here and just added some snow globes, some pine picks, a couple ornaments. It's very, very simple. The staircase just got all of its garland. Hold on, let me see if I can get this light on. And it's a real garland that I bought from my local garden center. It has pine, it has juniper berry. It is absolutely beautiful. I did two swags here. And then this banister is a little shorter, so just one swag. And then did very large draping navy blue ribbons on them. 
I love them and I hung them all the way to the floor and there are four ribbons at each of the points and I just, I could not be happier with it. This tree is our very traditional nutcracker tree. We have the tartan plaid, we have the nutcracker ornaments, and then all the same colors pulled in from the dining room tree. And you're also going to see some similar picks that are in the garlands just to help connect everything together. So this tree, I'm absolutely thrilled with it. All my twinkle lights I put inside the center of the tree when I'm putting it together. There are also candles, but I don't have them lit yet. I usually wait till the evening, but love how this turned out this year. Christmas pillows, all from H&M Home. Red, green, very simple. And then my coffee table, I usually will have a swag of live greens. I have to replace them this week, so you guys will be with me when I do that. Um, just need to get some fresher ones to put on here for a couple bucks. But I just have like a really simple arrangement and then normally some pine branches there as well. So entertainment center, super simple. I don't like it too much. Just have like this little lantern, my nest candle, a little deer, my Santa box. But our fireplace is the same garland as I did on the entryway table. It's just beautiful. And then I pulled in the two nutcrackers within that and then took the colors from the Nutcracker and put those into the garland and that's kind of where my color scheme came from. The whole way through the house you're gonna see lots of red, green, and blue, and gold all pulled out. And then those candlesticks are from Goodwill with some flameless flicker tape, taper candles in it. And then a bunch of birch logs. And then this vase is always out and I just threw a navy bow over it to make it feel more festive. Then you come into our kitchen breakfast nook area, and it's also like a little bit of our reading corner with those little chairs there. And I kept this once again really simple. These three lanterns from Pottery Barn are always here. They're kind of like a really great statement piece and help connect a lot of the black that, a lot of the black metalwork you'll see in our house. This guy got a spray paint job. I picked him up at Michael's. I was looking for a big statement deer piece, and that was it. And then I just swagged some live garland. I think these are all cedars that I picked up at the garden center. I think I paid $6 um, and that covered both tables, but these dried out much quicker than these. I don't know why. And then over here I have a couple little tinsel trees and then I hung three pre-lit wreaths at five o'clock. Those wreaths will be on. Here's a tip. Sometimes when you hang wreaths from ribbons, they don't lay nice and flat. So I actually still put a command hook and hang the wreath on the command hook so the ribbon's actually not doing anything. There's a command hook on the window holding the wreath in its place so it's nice and snug against the window and the ribbon is truly there just for decoration. Very minimal. This is all the stuff that I keep in here regularly. I just added greens and threw some bells in that bowl, a snow globe, and then in the containers that were already in here, I just added some ornaments and then some trees that I picked up at the dollar section of um, of uh, Target, that's it. And then in the back, I took wrapping paper that matched my plaid ribbon and I backed with painter's tape the entire back of my cabinets to just give them like a little pop of color. Da -da -da -da. My lights are dirty, they need cleaned. I do this every year. This is a full size sled. It's four feet long, four and a half feet long by one and a half feet wide. And I set up a hot cocoa station on it. Once again, one of those bell candles, a thing of marshmallows, this little cute hot cocoa sign, a towel from Anthropology. I just love how simple it looks, but it's also so festive. And then this garland and those pine trees over there from, and the bells actually, that is all from McGee & Co. Not Studio McGee at Target, their actual McGee & Co. online store. This is one of the most beautiful, realistic garlands I've ever found. And I also love how it hangs. Once again, I did it asymmetrical to kind of match what's happening over there in the living room. Then above my stove, just a simple basket with some bell garland that I had, a box wood wreath that I've had for ages, and then this set of wooden houses from the dollar section at Target. And then over here is dinner. The beef stroganoff is cooking away, but I just have some measuring cups that I bought from Anthropology, and then an advent little tree. And now I have to remember to move those. This is our mudroom, and actually 
um, comes out, off the garage. So a long time ago in a vlog, if I can find it, I will link it. I built this board and batten. This was usually just flat walls, but we added um, this board and batten piece and it just elevates the room. I also love the layered mirror. This is kind of a solid depiction of what our house looks like, not Christmassy. <laughs> the, the color story is very neutral. I have this wreath from uh, Hearth and Hand, I believe, the Magnolia line at Target. Some old pillows that I had that I just thought matched the vibe here. And then this little wooden Studio McGee tree. This is just a closet. It's not decorated at all. In here, this room during Vlogmas is actually getting a facelift. This little powder room, we're gonna restyle it on the cheap and really elevate it. But I just added this little wooden snowflake, this tree, some ornaments in there. Oh, and then once again, another magnolia wreath. This one was from like a year or two ago, but it's still one of my favorites. This is my laundry room, and I just wanted to add a few little pops. So I have this little basket hanging that's from Target. And then I just did really some simple trees, this little gold reindeer. I didn't really change anything out that's normally in here. And then these for a dollar in the dollar section at Target are the cutest little things ever. They're made of like the softest yarn. And I just added some of those, these snowmen, but really nothing fancy in here, but I didn't want to walk in and it not have any Christmas vibes. Like I said, if you want to see how I did the painting in the dining room, hop over to Instagram, follow me. I'm going to start putting a lot more highlights of DIYs over there for all of you because it's a really easy and fast way to upload them. The garland um, tutorial, I'll embed that video down below and also how I set up my trees. I will link that video in the description box. You can check those out. We will save an upstairs tour for another day of Vlogmas, but that's kind of all that's happening downstairs and it's a lot, but I really am happy with the decorations this year. It feels so wonderful. And around five o'clock when all the lights come on, it'll be great. I decided I wanted to add some lights to my living room garland. So these are my favorite lights from Amazon. I'll leave them linked below. These are the lights I go to for any kind of garland project. Um, I'm gonna throw those in the garland and get the stroganoff ready. When Steven gets home, we'll do the rest of the advent calendars. I think we're in a pretty good spot. I never suggest putting your lights on last, but it actually worked out really well. I tucked them in really far into the garland in order to get it to work. Um, and I was actually really nervous about doing it, but it actually looks stunning. And I'm really happy that I've added the lights to it. It really needed it to elevate it to the next level. I also just added the lights to the entryway garland too. Really, really happy with it. It definitely needed the lights. Like I said, never put them on last. <laughs> I waited way too long. All right, we need to do the final steps on the beef stroganoff, which means I need to start getting my noodles um, boiling. And then we also need to add the slurry to this to thicken up because it needs another about 20 minutes to half hour to cook. So let me read my directions and get that going. I am making, I don't know if the technical name is a slurry, but I'm making what I call a slurry. So it's roughly about three tablespoons of cornstarch and half a cup of, uh, half a cup of beef stock. And I'm just going to add this in to my beef stroganoff. This will thicken up. I'm also gonna hit this with a little cream and another pinch of salt and pepper. Boil the noodles, throw the noodles in there, and we're gonna be done. Okay, I mean, that's like the color of beef stroganoff. I hope it is good. Um, I really wanna make his day, especially because day one is do something that your partner or someone in your life loves it, maybe you necessarily don't. And I really wanted to do a walk, but that's just not possible with the weather. So surprising him and running out to the grocery store and doing this, even though we were supposed to have tacos tonight, I think it'll make his day. All right, come on in. Hi. So day one of Advent, well, first of all, it's day one of Vlogmas, mm -hmm. um, but today the Advent calendar was to do something or something for the person you love. And I was going to do like a night walk 
at a park that you like, but it's been rainy and muddy all day, which yeah. would be gross. Yeah. So what is a recipe that I've never made you that is one of your favorite dishes? Remind you of your grandmother. Beef stroganoff? I made you beef oh stroganoff. Oh thank you. Uh, and look, it actually looks really it good. It does look like beef stroganoff. Didn't I make it once? You've made, we've, this is only the second time we've made it and it's something you love, but we never make it because I'm not a huge fan. Uh -huh. But for day one of Vlogmas, that, uh -huh. so it, we were supposed to have tacos tonight. That's why I ran out to the grocery store. I was wondering why you ran out to the grocery store. Aww. I figured you'd have a long day. So while beef stroking off, I just have to throw the noodles in. You have some time. Aww. No, I told her this, this was my favorite meal once and she stuck with it and she never let it go. So like, even after I like aged 10 years after that point, she still made it. And that, I mean, I like it. It's gr it. Well, didn't that happen with my grandma? Like you said something about you liked her pumpkin roll and then every yes, time she sent- yes, she sent pumpkin roll. <laughs> she sent pumpkin roll when we went to visit, she'd always have a pumpkin roll. I think you said one time one it was time really I good. <laughs> the pumpkin roll and ever since then. That's it's... another thing I've never made. I have her recipe. We will make her pumpkin roll during Vlogmas. All right, go get changed. We'll get dinner ready. I'm gonna finish doing a little bit more editing. Also, look at the mantle garland. Look what I did. Oh, you put the lights on. I did. Yeah. It makes a huge difference. Yeah, it's nice. And then I also did the entryway garland too. Where did you get the lights? Amazon. They were like 12 bucks. Oh, are they battery? They're battery. Yep, and they're on a timer. All right, you go get ready. I'm gonna finish some editing. All right, the verdict is in, and he even went back for a second helping. How did I do? Very good. It's very good beef stroganoff. Oh my gosh, that makes me happy. Um, so I'm trying to think what we have left to do tonight. You have, we have his advent calendar to open. You never, you forgot about your Nespresso one this morning. So you'll have to open two oh, tomorrow morning. Why didn't I have coffee this morning? I should have orange juice. All right, we're gonna save your Nespresso and David's tea for tomorrow. Oh. You can catch them up on a couple days because the vlog is already a half hour long. But we do have to give Bubby his advent calendar. Looky, this is a great way to end day one. Bubby, come here, looky, looky. <gasps> yes, it's day one. It's right here, looky, come here. What is here? <gasps> you got it! Happy first day of Vlogmas, Babas! I guess we do have to do one because it would not be a day of Vlogmas without pour some sugar on me. That is a traditional song that we sing for the Sugar Fina advent calendar. Day one, what did we get? I think these are the dark chocolate sea salt caramels. I'll save those because I haven't eaten dinner yet, but I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. Okay, my friends, this is day one of Vlogmas complete. Um, for it being such a busy day, we got a lot of footage and that makes me really happy. We'll see a lot more of Steven, a lot more of Bubba's. Um, that's just how today played out, but I hope that you guys loved it. And I'll end it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye.